Hello, my name is Chris Morgan. This is the 13th video in our Reactor Subtractor Synth series. In this video, we're going to extend our two voice subtractive synth or two oscillator subtractive synth by adding some detuning and transposition. So if we look at our structure of our instrument, we have voice and I should label these voice one, voice two. I will go into one of these and the way I work it from this point on is I'll e always edit one voice and then rather than do those edits in the other voices I'll simply delete them and copy and paste the voice again. In theory you only need the detuning and transposition in one since it's just relative to the other but I like to just make them identical and have the choices later. So I'll open up my voice, open up my VCO where the pitch control is and this will be good that we kept it in a macro remember we were debating that earlier and I'll simply add a couple of, of choices here. Um, one, for simple detuning within a half step, I can just add a regular control. So I can go up here, panel, add a knob, and that knob values on the function are 0 to 1. That's fine. I might make it 0 or negative 1 to positive 1. What's important though here is the number of steps. MIDI controllers by default are 128 steps that go from 0 to 127. I don't need that kind of resolution here, so I might just arbitrarily decide to make this um, 100 steps. And notice the step size is going to change. So now that knob is going to have values that go 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and so forth. That may be more resolution than we even want, but it's fine. So we have a plus or minus a whole step. We could make it less than that and make it 0.4 or something like that with fewer steps. So I'll just leave it like that. And now the simple thing uh, we'll call this, we'll name this uh, detuning. And we will command drag it into our other tuning uh, um, pitch bend and, and note pitch and vibrato. Now for transposition, same idea except cruder values. Panel, knob. In this case, we want to be able to transpose it by scale degree steps, which are integer numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will set the range. I think we could just do it an octave above and below, so I'll set it to 12 and negative 12. So this can be transposed up or down an octave. Uh, we, we, we we could do plus or minus 24 because we might want something that's more of a bass sound, so we can do that. Again, the number of steps, if I've got 24 above and 24 below, then and I just want them to be integer values, then I'll simply type in 48. Notice the step size is going to change to 1, and so I'll have, oh, um, for each step, one, one step up or down. And again, I'll drag that in, and I'll rename this course tune. So we might have fine detune or course tune. So both of those show up here and I will edit that and then we can listen to how that sounds. Uh, right now I'll, I'll set it to zero and zero and we should hear the, the normal sound we had earlier. And now I'm going to detune it a little bit. I have a lot of things going on, so I might turn some of those down. So there's our detuned sound. And now course tuning, I'll take this and transpose it. I'll add a little bit of pulse width modulation on this lower one. I'm not going to hear the pulse width modulation if I don't have square chosen.
There's voice two. There's voice one. And so now I have my course tuning and detuning. I'm going to go back up a level since I might really want to use this feature on both. And I will delete the second voice and now copy and paste the changes I made from the first voice. And I can go again and label that voice one, voice two. Notice that it, they're just right on top of each other in the panel. And I can simply move them back down and have them separate again. And now they both have detuning and course tuning. So we are completely done. Of course, we could have a third voice which I often do, students often do that, but it becomes a lot to worry about editing. You get a, to a point of diminishing returns and there's no reason to overload yourself. The next video will talk about setting snapshots and maybe assigning some additional knobs and faders for my keyboard. I'm using right now an Oxygen 49 that has nine sliders and eight knobs. And so I will map some more of those things um, in the next video.